Ryan Sargent back at Blockchain Futures Conference Day 2. You can hear the sound in the background, the excitement. It's electric in here. We are able to pull policy and podcaster extraordinaire Kate Goldman from Elliptic. Kate, talk to us about all these recent DeFi hacks. Where are the vulnerabilities coming from in the DeFi space? Yeah, I think we're seeing bridges being a major vulnerability, especially. Uh, and so Elliptic is rolling out our cross-chain forensics, which is really about looking across multiple blockchains and seeing those exposures. And I think it's all about holistic cross-ecosystem compliance. That's the future of risk mitigation, especially in DeFi. That's amazing. Alex, we're seeing a lot of people vulnerable, losing a lot of money in these DeFi and bridge hacks. Tell us a little bit about how Omnia Protocol is able to protect people from being taken advantage of in this ecosystem. Yeah, so basically what we are looking at right now, we're seeing a rising interest in terms of consumer protection technologies. So what we are doing right now, because we have a unique position in the market between the applications, the wallets, the users, and the blockchain infrastructure, we are the middleware. And having this position, we are able to, de to do a dry run of the transaction to assess where the assets are moving to and from. And we are able actually to step on and drop the transactions for our users in order to protect them in case they are interacting with a scam or the interact pool. So that's the kind of things that we do. Awesome. Now, you mentioned consumer protection. Kate, talk to us about how is Elliptic able to convey to their customers? How are they going to be able to better protect their own users on their platform, especially exchanges, when it comes to these hacks, scams, and frauds? Yeah, I think it's really about taking a risk-based approach, not only to protecting your customers, but also understanding what customers you're onboarding and what are the risk appetites for yourself as a company, the wallets that you're interacting with, and just making like really thoughtful decisions based on what your appetite is and what exposures you're looking for. Awesome, so we we're talking about privacy. Now, how does Elliptic balance privacy of their users and customers and the compliance requirements that are needed to get the job done? Yeah, so we never attribute, it, attribute personal identifiable information. It's more so about understanding where the nexus these wallets and transactions have to things like, you know, dark marketplace, uh, you know, anything that would be an unbelievable exposure risk or sanctions, anything of that like dark actor, uh, you know, typology. So yesterday your brother Christian talked a lot about the attacks that that Kate is mentioning here, whether it's sandwich attacks, whether it's front running or MEV. Tell us a little bit about how you're gonna protect your customers when it comes to these attacks. Yeah, so mainly what we do in terms of privacy is more concerned with the off-chain. So we are not talking about zero knowledge technologies, ring signatures, tornado cash, that thing. We are more focused on the off-chain. So we protect the metadata, we protect the behavior of the transaction, and especially when it's in a pending state. Because if you look about what's the core issue with MAV, it's actually there is the lack of pre-mining transaction privacy. So you have that 10 minutes window when the transaction is pending, and you are actually leaking the intention to buy or to sell an asset to do something. And that's the actual core issue because you have no privacy of the intention. Kate, tell us what's going on with you, your podcast, <laughs> or what new things Elliptic's coming out with, including education around Elliptic Connect. Yeah, so I'll start off with the podcast. My co-host Kirsten and I just wrapped up our first season. It was 24 episodes and, you know, it started as kind of like a crazy idea in the middle of a coffee shop and it's kind of I don't know, it's unbelievable to have 24 episodes later. It was such a blast. And you usually are the one doing these interviews at the, at know, the conferences. I'm not used to being on this side of the So microphone. we're really excited to have you know an interviewer extraordinaire. Thank you both. We're here at Blockchain Futures Conference 2022, talking compliance, security, and privacy with Omnia Protocol and Elliptic. <laughs>